my God. Oh, my God. Help me. Help me. Wake up, you old bastard. There you go. Morning. What the hell? Don't you see me, Pa? I've got the burning! <laughs> of legends had ended. I've proven them wrong. As the house at the edge of the world draws near, I'm leaving this message so that my story will never leave the lips of man. Twenty-five years ago, in a rotting town in Washington, there was a boy who lived inside the stories of others. Henry! Henry lived alone with his mother, a woman with a heart of ice and a witch's temper. Just what do you think you're doing? Uh, One degree higher and I will die. Is that what you want, Henry? Do you want to kill your mother? Speak up! No, Ma. She told him his father grew sick of them and left in the night to walk the earth alone. He hid the postcard his father left for him with his life. At the age of 13, Henry found himself in the company of another lost soul. This boy was an animal. The rage that swelled inside overcame him like a demon. His name was Mutt. They hid from the world to share their secrets. Drink. Mott told Henry about his beastly father and how he would beat him at the drop of a hat. Shut down, boy! I got the burning in me, Marty! But this time, I got it good! He explained that the anger inside had tormented him, even in his dreams. He showed Henry the scars on his palm, a symbol from a nightmare. This is the burning, Mutt said. It lives inside of us. People like me. People like you. This was my mama's. She used to wrap me in this when I was a baby. Still smells like her. What are you doing? Her memory was killing me. You get that, do you? That's it, Henry. Do it. Do it. What was that? Are you gonna let a ghost run your life? Huh? My father's still out there! And if you say any different, I'll bash your fucking head in!
mention of his father, Henry felt an unnatural anger. Hold it! <laughs> he accepted the carving by Mutt's own hand. <laughs> Henry, what is your dream? I'm gonna go down to the keys and track down my pa. I'm gonna find that bastard or die trying. How about you? Me? <laughs> I'm gonna die a legend! Home already? I know you've been out with that Henderson boy again. Show me those hands. Show me those hands! Oh, Lord Henry. Witchcraft? You know you'll die and go to hell, don't you? I guess I'll find out when it happens. One fateful night, Henry and Mott met to plan their revenge on their tormentors. of the damned, Henry and Mutt reaffirmed their oath. It's just you and me, Henry, all the way down the line. A Lakeshore's family is pleading for help in the search for their family member who's been missing since Tuesday. They were greeted by a gruesome sight. His body was found cut up and mangled on his couch. Suddenly, she told him she thought someone else was in the house with her. It's been four days. Police have ruled out suicide. She was already dead. Still waiting on some answers to her whereabouts. Our station, along with other news outlets from across the country, has received a package containing a series of anonymous letters written in blood. The author has claimed responsibility for over a dozen unsolved and seemingly unrelated murders over the past 25 years, and has promised he will strike again soon. The person now known nationwide as the Coast to Coast Killer has sent out another cryptic letter to the press, taking credit for yet another series of unsolved murders today. Investigators have continued to maintain that due to the public knowledge of these crimes and the implausibility of one person being responsible, the Coast to Coast Killer is almost certainly a hoax. But the question remains, who would pull a stunt like this? When asked for comment, the head of the investigation responded, at this time, we have no reason to believe these claims are anything but an elaborate hoax. Our top story, local elementary schooler Tommy Klein has been reported missing today when he didn't return home from middle school. If you happen to know anything that could help with this case, please contact the Shelby Police Department. Our prayers go out to the family and we keep them in our thoughts.
Don't you see? If you take the heat map for homicides over the past 25 years and you plot out where it increases the most over time, we get a straight line that leads us right here. You don't actually believe this delusional tinfoil condom conspiracy shit, do you, Sheriff? No. Sounds like a bunch of bullshit if you ask me. But the reports, the letters in the news, Every few years, some limp dick turbo virgin loser watches one episode of Unsolved Mysteries and tries to take credit. It's a waste of time, Jordy. With all due respect, Sheriff, I really don't think those kids should be alone in that high school. This fucking guy. <laughs> what do you want to do? Shut it down? I don't know. Yes. Maybe. The lock-in's been a Shelby tradition for nearly 50 years. It's all these kids have to look forward to. You really want to go screwing with that over a hunch? It's more than a hunch, Sheriff. Look. We see, Jordy. God, I hope you're not showing that to any women. <laughs> <sighs> Rookie, listen. Let's say with all those tabloid parasites printing about this 25-year coast-to-coast killing spree is for real, right? And it's not. And it's not. But suppose it was. That'd make this son of a bitch the greatest serial killer the world's ever seen, right? Make the Zodiac look like a joke. I know. See, he knows. Jordy, listen. I know we're all upset about what happened to little Tommy Klein. That kind of shit don't happen around here. Not in our town. Until it does. Granted. Let me tell you something. In my 20 odd years of experience, I've seen some crazy shit out there. Some things I wouldn't want to recount. Some things I can't even explain. I'll tell you this. I ain't never seen anything that looked like that. I need you to listen to me, all right? This right here is all a fairy tale. Rookie, you're chasing ghosts. What? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Just a day, Donna, like any other. Hey, fucking you! Don't coach me. How stupid are you? Those legs ain't yours no more, man. That's property of Iowa State. And I don't like when I see you wrecking other people's property. You understand that? Hey, time and place, huh? Hey! You can't keep 
sneaking in here. tonight at the Senior Bash, headed by Class President Donna McCormick. By the way, if any of you have seen a ring of janitor keys, please return them to me at the front desk. Thank you. Mr. Weebly. Donna, congratulations. I love what you've done with this year's Senior Bash. It's gonna be a smash. I think so, too. Again? I just got a lot on my mind. Tell me about it. The dance is in six hours, and I haven't decided what I'm going to wear yet. Oh, you'll look good in anything, Maddie. Sure, I will, but I'm dressing for two here. You ever tried to coordinate your date's outfit before? <laughs> I think we've got an idea. What a place you've taken me to, Em. What's it called again? Picnic en Mosh. Only the best for my darling daughter. <laughs> Serves you right down the Wonder Twins. When it comes to fashion, I'm afraid Benji's hopeless. No, you love me anyway. I guess it's not what you wear that matters so much. It's about how you wear it. Or how you take it off. Oh, shit. The Coast to Coast Killer just put out another message. Oh, this again. Wait, listen. The message says, call me mutt. Two burn inside. Find the keys, find the prize. A house by the sea, it's all in the eyes. <laughs> Can you believe this freak? No, I can't. Gives me the creeps. Oh, baby, I'll protect you. It's a hoax anyway, just someone trying to scare people. Can we just, please, stop talking about it? I can't believe this is our last time eating at the mulch mound. Oh, how I'll miss the bees and spiders. <laughs> Goodbye, holy table. May you make many more butts uncomfortable. And so ends the fellowship of the lunch sisters. And friend. Oh, hey now, I thought my hazing period was over. Oh, you're an honorary member for sure. <laughs> yeah, he is. Just another one of the girls. That's anything you like. <laughs> so, Lady Emma finally bit the hook, huh? Who is he? I'll knock his block off. <laughs> Last day. Last day. Last day, everybody. We made it. All those hours, all those days. Come on. No one? We got to do this again, don't we? Ah, uh, let's see, let's see. Stacy, what do you have planned for summer vacation? My parents are taking me to Italy. Oh, of course oh. they are. Ah, oh, Italy. Right. All right. Let's see, someone who can catch better than me. Jet. They got to have a gym where you're going? <laughs> I'll get this cast off, so I'll be the arm wrestling champ before I know it. Hey, that sounds good. Uh, Leroy! I want you to name one thing you learned in my class this whole year. One thing, one, go ahead. Um, uh, <laughs> always be ready to catch the ball? <laughs> That's one answer, I guess. Okay, either way. I think we have some very special people in the room right now. 
Do we have anyone here today who attended Seacrest from pre-K all the way to senior year? Oh, I think we have some people. I think I see one, two, there should be a third. There he is. I'm gonna need Emma Bradley, Donna McCormick, and Stuart Minkle to please stand up. Stand up. Ladies and gentlemen, let us hear it for the lifers, everybody. So you still thinking about taking Alexis to the dance? Nah, nah, I cut that off a couple days ago. It's just a fling. Really? Yeah. You're still going though, right? Wouldn't miss it. Your boy's on the hunt tonight. It's a couple different girls I have in mind. Oh yeah? Me too. Oh, I was thinking a little uh, Lexi Turner action. Tiffany Wales. I was even thinking about going after that Emma chick. Emma Spalding? Oh man, Bradley. What? She's cute, ain't she? Yeah. Steve. Yeah. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> you ass. <laughs> How'd you know? How couldn't I know? You got a bad, my friend. No, that ain't good. Could be. Better late than never, right? Uh, maybe. I mean, hey, look at it this way. She ain't been asked yet. And at this rate, nobody's asking her. And that sucks, Steve. So in my mind, you could do her a favor. So nut up or shut up, champ. I know. You could be right. Of course I'm right, Steve-O. Yeah, but I'm warning you. If you don't dance with her, I'm gonna have to. Three! You really are an asshole. Two! That's me. One! I signed everyone but yours. Great, sign mine too. Aw, thanks, Stuart. No problem. I hope you have a good summer. Hey, Stu. Jesus, man. You've been working out, haven't you? Oh, hey, Sarah. Oh my God, what'd she say? Oh, Sarah, please. Please tell me you said yes to Stu here. I'm telling you, this guy's a real mean dancer. Isn't that right, Stu? Huh? Best in the school? I don't know what... Oh, He hasn't asked you yet, has he? <laughs> so you don't know? No. Okay. Well, you see, this guy right here... He wants to fuck you. <laughs> Even told all the boys about it. He said he was gonna take you to the dance, hold you nice and close. And when the lights got down really low... How'd it go, Stu? You give her a night she never forgets. You're a real dick, you know that? <laughs> yeah, I'll show you a real dick, baby. Stewie, 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 Stewie. You're fucking pathetic. Well, that's one way to say goodbye. Oh. 
Hello? Mr. Seitz, I, I, I... Timmy, you don't need to explain anything. I was your age once. The world had a lot of potential in it. And you have a lot of potential in you. I'm cool. I'm Mr. Seitz. We're cool. You and me, we're buddies. We're friends. <laughs> right? Yeah. Let me see. Let me, let me see. Oh, Timmy. You could get in a lot of trouble for this. But not if you leave right now. And, and I mean in three, uh, in two, thank you, in sir. one, goodbye. <laughs> this, this is some dog shit weed. Oh my God. Why do I even teach anymore? What is the point of this? Emma. Emma. Oh my God. Sorry. No, no. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh no, I, I'm fine. You're this way too? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, not gonna miss these walks home. What do you mean? Oh, you know, it's just the same thing every day. There's only so many times I can walk the same path, look at the same houses, it gets old. That's funny. I don't think I've ever seen you down this way. Oh, um, yeah, the, the track. The track keeps me late. Oh. Yeah. I come around here, though. Hmm. What about today? That's something different, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is different. Last day of school and all. Yeah. Oh, is it there? Ah, oh, yes, it's gone. What's gone? My penny. Well, it's not my penny anymore, but I guess that's the point. Wait, what? Every day, I leave a penny, heads up, right here, and the next day it's gone. Oh, ah, spreading the luck around, huh? <laughs> Just doing my part. Pretty, right? Yeah. It's just gonna be weird, you know? I can't picture my life without this place. So, when do you take your ticket out of here? Still gotta figure that out. Really? I would have had my bags packed weeks ago. What about you? When do you leave? I don't. <laughs> what about track? You're really good. You think so? Well, not good enough. We can't all be breakneck Bobby Stone. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. I'll get out one way or another. Just... 
Maybe not as soon as I'd hoped. This is me. Oh, wow, it's... It's nice. Yeah, I, I like it. Yeah. Emma. Yes? Are you going to the lock-in tonight? Oh, uh, I, I don't think so. You know, loud parties aren't really my thing. Oh, all right. No worries. Well, I'll see you around. Hey. Is this really your way home? <laughs> the long way. This just in, the name on everyone's mind, the coast-to-coast -coast killer, may be connected to a mysterious death in the Central Florida area. A reliable source has informed our team that the deceased, 26-year-old Will Davis, had this symbol carved into his palm. As you can see, the symbol is identical to the one displayed in one of the killer's letters. Could they have inspired a copycat? Or does he really walk among us? This is the latest in new developments on this bizarre case. Oops. Please remember, lock your doors and exercise caution. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, honey. How was your day? Oh, my God, your last day of high school. Can you believe it? It, it was good. Oh, yeah. good. What are you making? Uh, well, I'm trying my hand at some sweet corn and some turkey in the oven. A little more to it than grilled cheese, but I gotta figure it out someday, right? <laughs> now, would you do me a favor and grab the Old Bay? Yeah. My hands are kind of full right now. Oh, thanks, Sugar Plum. Okay, a little bit of that, a little more of that, a little bit of this. Oh, hey! <laughs> I'd hug you back, but my hands are a little busy. <laughs> Dinner in 20? Sounds good. Okay. Hey, Donna. So, is it true? Is what true? Rumor has it Steve Clayton walked you home from school today. <laughs> Who told you that? I have my sources. Is it true? Yes, it's true. <laughs> I cannot believe this. Tell me everything. Well, there's not much to tell. I mean, he came up to me and walked with me and we talked. And? And it was nice. It was nice? I mean, did he ask you the dance? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. Um, he asked me if I'd be there, but... Emma, he was just giving you the shy boy routine. You have to dance with him when you get here. Um... Listen, Donna, about tonight. Oh, no, please don't do this. Do what? I know you want to poop yourself in your room and try and finish that story again. It's just that this thing's got me stressed out and I just want to finish it, you know? Emma, you know I love you, right? Yeah. So trust me when I tell you that what you need right now is some time with your friends. I mean, you can't just like bash your head against the wall and expect the answers to come out. Probably right. Of course I am, Emma Lem. Think of it this way. I'll be there, Ben and Maddie will be there, and love boy too. <laughs> I mean, it'll be the last time we'll see everyone as classmates. Donna. Are you guilty of? All right, all right. For you, Donna, I'll go. Yay! Me too there, Kay. Gotta go busy be. Love you. Well, here we go. Oh, oh wait, 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 honey, you you don't have to eat that. No. There's there's microwave no, mac and no, cheese in the fridge. No, 
Oh, Dad, it, it looks great. Mmm, you know, it's kind of good underneath the burnt stuff. Really? tonight. Oh, okay. I mean, I think if you want to go, you should go. Mm -hmm. I could drive you. What time does it start? Seven. But I still have to pack a bag. Honey, go pack your bag. <laughs> I'll take care of the dishes. <laughs> Hurry up. Hey, we want to drop this. Fuck, Ricky. Too gold, but we want. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you need a shit sandwich if somebody told you to shop. <laughs> All right. I may be gullible, but you're fucking slow. I think so. I know so. Yo, yo what the fuck? Oh! Oh! Hey, dirt. What the fuck are we doing here anyway? Last day of school, and we're here dicking around with a couple of bruises, bro. And what do you suggest we do? I don't know. What, no parties tonight? If there was, we'd be there already. I mean, everyone is at that sleepaway circle jerk. That's true, man. Yeah, man, fuck that. We should go. We bailed on that shit show for a reason, man. Yeah, I know, but we should go anyway to fuck with them, you know? Like, pull the fire alarm and some shit. Huh. You know that. I like it. Yep. All set. I just... Emma, you look so beautiful. Dad. You're so beautiful, honey. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Well, we better get moving. We're going to be behind schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, just out of curiosity, why did you decide to go again tonight? Oh, uh, it's just a big deal to Donna, and I didn't want to bail on her. Oh. And it's kind of a tradition, you know? What's his name? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it, it's Steve. Steve. Cool. That's cool. It is cool, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool, Dad. You you'd like it. You know, I uh took your mom to this dance in nineteen seventy seven. Okay. I'm just happy that I get to see you do the same, honey. Got you on this, huh? Yeah, man. I was investigating Sasquatch sightings per usual, and they pulled me off. Do a little chaperoning at the school function. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. I'm actually glad that you're here, Greg. I really am. I feel safe knowing that you're protecting our kids, and I also appreciate your service. Hey, well, I appreciate the kind words, Mr. Bradley. I'm always looking out for the students. Who do we have checking in here? Is that MIC? 
Hi, Officer Greg. Hello there, Emma. I'm a little tardy to the party, but that should be just fine. Go ahead and mark you down. You can get you on your way. Thanks, Greg. Keep it up. Thanks, Mr. Bradley. Have a great night. You too. Daddy, you better keep an eye on this one. She's a troublemaker. <laughs> I'll keep her out of trouble, Mr. Bradley. Uh-huh. Have a good time, girls. <laughs> Daddy, you're shaking. I am not. How's it going in there? It's great, it's great. I've gone over this night in my head for weeks, but seeing it in person is surreal. Oh, I'm happy for you. And I'm happy you showed. Yes. Shall we then? Oh, wait. Happy graduation, bestie. Donna. Don't you love it? Of course. But I didn't get you anything. Who said you had to? Put it on. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say. Now, you'll remember to call me. No excuses. And look. Oh my, are you trying to make me cry? Thank you for everything. Miss Bradley, you're looking fabulous as always. Come, 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 come. We have to get you checked in. I'm going to need your uh, John Hancock right there. <laughs> or should I say your Joanne Hancock? <laughs> and, and don't worry, you're not signing your life away. It's, it's just a formality. No problem. Now, some people are having trouble with this next part. We've decided to hold on to your cellular devices. So, send your last text, set up your passcode, delete your history, <laughs> do whatever you have to do. No problem, here you go. All set. We appreciate it, and don't worry, you'll get this back first thing in the morning. All right, let's do it. You girls have a blast. Thank you, Mr. Weebly. <laughs> Wow. Do you really like it? Are you kidding? It's great. Hey, it's the Wonder Twins. Hey, guys. <laughs> you guys tearing it up out there? Oh, you bet, sister. <laughs> this is a blast, Donna. You've got to come dance with us. We will, we will. Oh, I'm just going to grab some crunch. Yeah, me too. We'll meet you guys out there. OK. You better. Well, ladies, nice and I were having your huh? Hey, now. Come on, what's the problem? Timmy, are you always stoned? <laughs> Only. 
Seven days a week, babe. You put that away. Timmy, if you don't put that away in the next two seconds, I'll have you thrown out of here so fast. No phone, you walk home. Sorry, ladies. I didn't realize I was dealing with the resident narcs. Some party. Creep. It's Timmy. Bonehead probably forgot to even talk to us. All right. Good dig. Oh! Oh, someone spiked the punch. No way. Oh, it's like Everclear or something. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? I have to dump it, but if I do, Mr. Weebly's gonna see me. Maybe I can throw it out back. This is not okay. This is this no, is not, not okay. Done. Maybe we can let this one go. I guess it is the last name. taking so long. You ain't getting it. You ain't getting it. Oh, get on my line. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's do this. Remember, stay close to the wall until we reach the alarm. Once it's done, we'll meet in my car. Hey, hey, Dark. What? Rick? Can't you see I'm fucking talking here? I gotta take a leak. Now? You gotta take a piss now. Yes, now. I've been fiddling with that shit for 30 minutes. I, I can fill a lake. I gotta go too, man. Fucking amateurs. Fine, go, okay? But if you get caught, I do not know you. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking believable. Sorry, Derek. Just go, Leroy, and hurry back. Next to me, yo, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, forgot your camera shot. <laughs> yeah, keep a moving, you runt. <sighs> oh, hey, Dirk told me the good news. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who'd have thought, right? <laughs> a college boy now, huh? Not yet. Soon enough. Hmm. Of course, me and Dirk are gonna miss you, seeing as you won't be around no more. I'll, I'll visit back every once in a while. I hope so. <laughs> hey, you know what I just thought about? What? You remember back in eighth grade when you picked a fight with Petey Greenberg? Oh, I'll never forget it, Leroy. Remember when I got suspended for two weeks and I begged you to let me hide out in your room? Oh, we both got licks for that one. Leroy? We better be getting back. Dirk's gonna be real pissed off. Hey, remember, Leroy, you're the gullible one. You know, so you only wasted time trying to scare me. Star Captain Greg's log, chapter 264. It's me again. Today I got a compliment. God, that felt good. Really just makes it all feel worth it. Worth? What an interesting concept. Who decides? What's worth anything in this corporeal dimension we're forced to inhabit? Is some arbitrary value some higher power assigns to materialistic possessions? God, what the fuck happened to you, Greg? You cry when it rains. You cry when it doesn't rain. You cry when you're dreaming. You cry when you're awake. Shit! Come on out, guys. 
Get back to the party and I won't make a big deal out of this, huh? Hmm. I guess crime never sleeps. <laughs> Your sister off. Gary. <laughs> it's Dirk. Where are we going? Put me down, please. Why are we spinning? Almost there. <laughs> I've never done it on a bench before. Stay uh. here. Go to sleep. Hey. Where are you going? Get back here. What? <laughs> you can't handle this? I bet you have a small dick. Pussy. Much for a standoff. Where are my boys at? Uh, it's it's just my friend Donna. <laughs> I knew you'd be back. That's right. Come and get me. Benji, we get the door. It's stuffy in here. Ask and you shall receive, babe. <sighs> that was great. Always is. How am I going to survive without this every day? How are we going to survive without this every day? We'll figure it out. I know. It's just, there's gonna be a whole new group of girls where you're going and I don't want you to feel unhappy. Unhappy? Why would I be unhappy? You're the best thing that ever happened to me. Benji, when's the last time we even talked on the phone? And if we're busy now, just imagine what college is gonna be like. Do we just become the couple that texts all day? The only reason I don't call you is because I see you every day. With you in Oregon and me in Atlanta, I'm gonna call you every chance I get. But 
Is that enough for you? Why wouldn't it be enough? We'll see each other a few times a year. Thanksgiving, Christmas, maybe. What are you wearing? Ben, this is serious. I've never been more serious about anything in my entire life. You're the girl for me, Madison, and I'm gonna do everything I can to make this work. Are you with me? Of course, Ben. I love you. watch the movie, I have one more slow one for you. You kids enjoy. So, uh, you wanna... <laughs> Holy shit. Son of a bitch did it. Steve. Okay, everyone, we're winding down now. Boys and girls, turn into your respective locker rooms, change into your PJs, and let's get ready for the movie. We'll all meet back here in 10 to 15 minutes. Thank you. You got a date for the movie? Are you free? I think I can pencil you in. Oh, Emma. Yeah, what's up? I told Bobby I'd meet him out on the track for one last lap before he leaves. 
It's... It's a bro thing. No, no, no. I, I get it. But maybe you could meet me out on the mulch mound in like 30 minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Cool. Um, and I have something for you. You took it? 30 minutes. Don't get caught. I'm sorry I ran off on you. Are you kidding me? Cozy up to sleep. <laughs> Clayton, I think I'll live. Oh, did it look bad? What do you mean? Like, do you think I'm moving too fast, or? No, I mean you like him, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's sweet. You're fine, then. Plus, with Ben and Maddie as a standard, I think you've got some liberal. Oh, speaking of, where is Maddie? Have you seen her? No. Who knows where they ran off to? There's another thing, Donna. What's up? Uh, he asked me to meet him out on the mulch mound during the really? movie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I was wondering if um, you would cover for me. I just need you to distract Mr. Weebly just for a minute. Um, uh... All right. <sighs> oh. I owe you big time. Just give me five minutes, I'll okay. take care of it. Okay, okay, uh, I'll be back before the movie's even half over, okay? Okay, be safe, be safe. I know, I will, I will. All right, you mama's boys. Where's Ben? What do I look like, his girlfriend? Don't fucking get smart with me. All right, all you guys, stop screwing around, get out there, all right? And if you see Ben, you actually tell him I'm looking for him. What a tool. Hey, Jet, what's with the headphones? Gotta have music for my run. Get the fuck out of here. You're running? Tonight? Gotta get the cardio in somewhere. And I thought Stuart was the freak. Watch it, Johnny. It's just a joke. It better be. We're all good here, Jet. Enjoy your run, bro. Shouldn't let punks like that fuck with you. Stealing my clothes. Really? You know what? I don't have to put up with this shit anymore. You can't keep doing this to me. Donna, everything's going so swell. Oh, yeah, I think we're doing a great job. Well, actually, um, I uh, heard from a couple different people about a, a problem I think we really need to address. Oh, boy, Donna, what is it? Well, Mr. Weebly, it's, um, uh, it's the temperature. Uh, the temperature? Great job staying on top of everything, Donna. Of course. The least I could do. Hey, Bobby, where the hell are you? Did you see it, man? It actually happened. I mean, she showed up out of nowhere and we danced and, oh, she's so cool, man. We just connected, you know? 
There you are. What are you doing all the way out here? Are you drunk already? Oh, I better not hear any excuses when I beat you. Hey, bud, what are you? Oh, God. Bobby. Oh. Aren't you tired of running? Are you okay? Bobby, uh, Bobby, Steve. Bobby's dead. Bobby's dead. Steve, Bobby's not dead. I, I saw him on the track. He had a pole ran through him like a scarecrow. And I saw the bastard who did it. He almost got me too. Why are you doing this? This isn't a joke. Come on, let's go. Steve. Emma, do you trust me? Oh, my God. 
When I get out of this, I'm gonna fucking beat your ass!
may be wondering why I've asked you here. Let me see that hand. What a beautiful hand. I love it. I think I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, this this 
party ever. And it's all because of you. to you. Because I wouldn't let anything happen to any one of you. All right, boys and girls, boys and girls, we have to stay quiet and stick together. Come together, okay, come together. Gather around. Guys, what? I found Stuart. Stuart? What about him? His body's back here. He's, he's dead. Fuck this, man. Everyone, everyone, hold on. <laughs> Shit!
Daddy. I'm so sorry, Donna. Don't be. You have to keep moving. We'll catch up. I'm looking for us, Henry. We gotta go into hiding. We agreed! We're going to the Keys to find my dad! Aw, uh, what the hell, Henry? No chance! It's a bullshit story. Your ma told you that so that you wouldn't cry about your daddy walking out on you. You really thought that he walked all the way from- Liar! Ah! Some party, huh? Bobby spiked the bunch. <laughs> they could have killed him.
copy. Oh, thank God. Jordy, what I'm hearing, this doesn't make any sense. 19 casualties at the high school? 20. We just found the janitor out back. Perp took his keys and went room to room, hunting them. I don't believe it. This can't be true. Greg. Greg can't be. And those kids? What kind of person would do this? This isn't a person, Barbara. Evil came to Shelby. But now, he's in a body bag. You better wake the coroner. He's got a hell of a day out of him. <laughs> oh, that's so awful. Greg was a good man, Sheriff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been wanting us to call his family and tell him he's not coming home. God damn it! I've lost that boy since he was a kid. Jesus. Where's the kid who got this animal, anyway? The hospital. She was hysterical. Took three guys up and tied her down. Never seen anything like it. Looks like we got our guy, Jordy. You were right. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> If I'm never right again, Sheriff, I'll die a happy man. A heartbreaking story coming out of Shelby, Florida, is getting national attention as millions learned of the massacre last night at Seacrest High School, leaving 15 students, three members of the faculty, and an on-duty police officer dead during their end-of-the-year lock-in. The man responsible has been confirmed to be the individual known as the Coast to Coast Killer, reopening dozens of cold cases across the country. Even more astonishing is that the rampage was stopped by the heroic efforts of an 18-year-old high school girl, Emma Bradley, when she managed to set the man on fire using alcoholic punch and a lighter. When reached for comment, her father had this to say. Mr. Bradley, what is your reaction to the incident that occurred last night? Please, I've already answered so many questions. I, her town is in mourning, and my heart goes out to the families of all of those who've lost their lives. As for my daughter, I'm just glad she's alive. Do you have anything else to say to the millions at home listening right now? You should remind the people who are important to you that that you love them. Someday you, you could lose that chance. Now please, our family needs rest. Goodbye. What a terrible tragedy. The world is grieving with you, Shelby. May their memory never be forgotten.
Dad, guess what? What is it, sweetheart? I finally finished my book. Just now? Oh, that's great, honey. I knew you could. <laughs> Your mom would be so proud. Oh, you too, Dad. You've come a long way from burning pop tarts. <laughs> <laughs> You sure I can't get you to stay one more semester, honey? Uh, no. I'm ready. And you're gonna be okay driving this thing up there. Oh, are you kidding? It's great. I love you so much, sweetheart. I love you too, Dad. Please drive careful. I will. said the age of legends had ended. Maybe. But that's the thing about legends, isn't it? They never truly die.